Greetings everyone and welcome back to Pocket Ants. Well, this was certainly a surprise. I received messages from some of my viewers saying that there's been an update to Pocket Ants. And I was just kind of brushing it off, saying, oh, they just probably added skins or something like that. And when I took a look at it, I see a bunch of new things on the screen. Now, I haven't activated anything, and I don't know what the final purpose is, but I'm just going to call this the Garden Update. Because as you can see, underneath the social icon on the left side of the screen, there's a new one that says Garden. We're going to look at that, but that's not the first thing I want to look at. You see, at the top of the screen, we have a new resource. That is water. And you'll notice currently it's zero of zero. So I don't think I can actually hold any water at the moment because there is water on the screen now. So I think the first thing we need to do is to uh, get ourselves a water chamber. This is also my first concern, by the way. So let's just go into the colony and look at the water storage chamber. You can see that goes way down at the bottom here. And you might notice my first concern. Okay, it's going to go up to 50. It's going to cost us resin and honeydew. Yeah, I know it's a little amount, but this is just level one. So, I mean, how much honeydew are we going to require in the future? All right, you'll notice it'll be done in five minutes, so why don't we just do that right now? That way we can look around, and then we'll actually have water available to us in the future. All right, so let's close this up. Now let's look at this garden icon. Now, I don't know what's actually going to be in our inventory, but I noticed that we have two shovels. We can watch a video for another one, and there is a spot on the map that has the shovel icon. So I guess I'm going to be able to use these shovels to dig stuff up and put it in our inventory. Then we have garden. Now this has a physical representation on the map. It's right next to the colony, so we can just pop over there and take a look at it. Then we have pets. And I'm wondering if this is what we're actually getting in the end. We're doing this to get pets or something. Uh, kind of looks like a little fella there. Uh, I don't think it's a combat thing. I think it's more of a cosmetic thing. I have no idea. I guess we're going to find out. All right, so let's get out of this. And I mentioned that the, uh, the garden is over here. You can see an icon on the map. Yeah, it kind of looks the same there, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Um, you can't unlock from here, but if we go back over here, you can see you can unlock extra spots with gems. You know, I have 1,500 gems. I actually hit the red end colony the last two days. I got 10 gems both times, so I'm okay with that. All right, so let's take a look at the map. You'll notice at the top, on the right, there is now water. Now, I went over there, and it gave me the opportunity to pick up water, but I, don't, I didn't do it, and I didn't think it would actually work because, well, you know, the thing is that I don't have water storage. We have to wait for that to be done. But you'll notice underneath there, there is a shovel icon. So why don't we just go up there and see what's going on? Uh, I took care of the red ants, of course, and there won't be a... Uh, Okay, six hours, nearly seven hours until there's a creature. So we're perfectly safe. So let's just go over here. Maybe we'll actually get our uh, chamber here before that we have to leave. But I'm thinking, why don't we do some digging and figure it out what it is we're actually going to be digging up. There it is. All right, so there's a little spot over here. You can see the shovel on the map. But if you get over here, it's a little patch of dirt. It looks, looks like dirt to me. So I can dig this. So let's see what we get. Okay, build a ward. Okay, so I have to wait until the uh, water storage is done. So let's just wait for that to happen. Yes, even though I have 1,500 gems, I was not going to spend five for a quick finish. After all, if I did that, I wouldn't have 1,500 gems. All right, so the next upgrade is going to require 250 uh, honeydew. I'm probably going to have to do that. I think I have about 2,300, so... Uh, oh, that's going to be six hours. Well, you know, there's no reason to start it right now, is there? Okay, so let's close this up. I don't know why it was stopping me from digging, but let's go do some digging now. Hopefully it doesn't say, oh, you don't have any water, so you can't do that. Okay, we're digging. What are we getting? I obtained a flower seed. Okay, I guess I'm going to be planting flowers. All right, so let's go up here. And see, can I designate my ants to gather? I can gather. Can I tell them to do that? 
Apparently, I can. All right, so let's just see what I can do here. How many can gather? Um, let's push this down. For I mean, the thing is, it's going to fill really quickly, isn't it? Uh, I might as well. <laughs> I'll just send 50, and each one of them will do it once. All right, why don't we just do that, and we'll see how that works out. All right. All right, so are they going to come up here and do that? Yes, they are. Oh, I see there's another shovel on the board now. Uh, right to the uh, the left and a little bit up from the colony there. All right, because I'm guessing I'm going to be planting a seed. All right, so can I actually gather? Okay, so I'm going to bring this water back with me, and we're going to see what we can do with it. I'm a little bit concerned about that path, though. I mean, it would be very easy for my ants to run into trouble. So I guess you'd have to carefully monitor what's in the way. I mean, would that wouldn't get in the path of that. But I mean, there could easily be a creature up there that might be a problem. So like I said, you probably want to monitor it. All right, so let's go in and be the first to deliver water. All right, in here, and then we'll take, okay, can I go in there, guys? Thank you. All right, all the way down here, we have a new chamber. Now, it does say something about drinking the water, so I don't know if the ants require water now. Okay, drop. Okay, and we have some water. All right, and of course, they're going to be bringing some more. Okay, there it goes. I was the first. I'm going to tell the queen that I was the first one. All right, let's go get the, um, the other one. Where was it? There it is. There's another shovel location. All right, so let's see what we get. Are we getting another flower seed? Is that what we're getting? Or are they different seeds? Uh, a flower seed. And then it started raining. All right, so what is go first of all, let's take a look now at the uh, the garden inventory here. Okay, we have two different seeds. A black hollyhock increases creatures' movement speed. Interesting. What is this one? Marigold increases soldier ants' movement speed. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, creatures' movement speed. All right, uh, I think the soldier ants would probably be a better one. Uh, but, I mean, I think I can plant two different things. All right, well, you know what? Let's just see what we can do with this, because we do have this. Okay, plant. I mean, I have two places where I can plant, so... Do I need honeydew to plant? It looks like I need honeydew to plant. Is this a permanent thing or a temporary thing? All right, hold on a minute. Let me just... I want to do a verification here at the moment. I have 2,755 honeydew. That's what I have at the moment. All right, so let's just see about this. All right, now, is, again, is this a permanent? Th okay, I, I guess I have to do this again. There we go, plant. All right, we're going to plant that. And do I bring water to it? Okay, it needs water. All right, does, does that mean I have to bring water to it? By the way, I do actually want to check that. Yeah, that costed me honeydew. All right, I, if, that, if it's a permanent boost, I don't really have a problem with it. You know, but I mean, if it's a situation where I have to like redo it over and over again, I might have a problem then. All right, I guess I'm going to grab some water. All right, pick up. There we go. And let's bring that over to the seed. You know, if there's going to be different ones, I think speeding up the creatures isn't something I would want. You know, something like boosting the, um, the ants would be good. It's just I don't see a benefit in increasing the speed of the creatures. If it was attack or something like that or defense. All right. Okay, drop. Okay, right here, right here. Drop. Okay, um, does it need more? 50? Not enough water. Oh, do I have to wait until my... Uh, are they still carrying that? Yeah, they are still carrying that. So I guess maybe do I have to wait for them to have it 
or do I have to carry 50 over? I'm guessing I have to fill up. All right, well, that's something we can do. Do I want to plant the other one? I just don't think so. Is there another dig spot on the map? There is. The thing is that I would need another shovel for that, obviously. So let's go over to garden. Okay, I don't have any more shovels. Uh, basically, they seem to refresh every day. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch that video to see if it'll give me another shovel. And it did give me another shovel. Oh, I got a battle token reward. Yeah, apparently they, uh, uh, they haven't changed that. All right, it is new. So uh, we, have, we have 25. I should, probably should have sent more. Yeah, I mean, the rest of them aren't really doing anything at the moment. Oh, some of them, okay. Why don't we just do that? Just do that. Because I'm probably going to end up using the water anyway. So let me just see if I can get a better seed. I don't really want to boost the speed of my, uh, my creatures. I don't really see how that benefits me. All right, so let's get over here. And let's see what we can get in here from digging. Okay, so we have a new... Ooh, is that the same seed? Yeah, it is. I'm going to see whether or not in the future I can get more, and I'm not going to spend 50 gems to uh, get another shovel when we're just going to get more tomorrow, right? All right, we're just going to go with that one for now. If it's boosting my soldiers, I'm okay with that. Creatures don't really need speed, just saying. You can just spawn them wherever you want them, so they don't really require it. All right, but I guess we have to wait until we have um, the full water. And of course, if each one of them requires 50, this is going to be a slow process. Unless, of course, you know, we expand. And I probably should just start working on that. So far, I'm not liking the idea that there's a lot of honeydew involved here. But I mean, if there are permanent increases and some of them are very useful, that could be all right. All right, so we're going to do that. Actually, you know, I didn't even check to see how much resin I had. I have a lot of it, but I did spend a lot of it, of course, because I upgraded the Queen's Chamber. So my uh, ants are eighth level now, my soldiers, of course. But I'm going to be honest, I don't really see a difference. I really don't. All right, are we at 50? We're at 50. All right, so let's see. Can I do this now? Okay, now that's going to take 30 minutes to grow. And it also emptied my water. Okay, but that's fine. All right, so that's going to take 30 minutes. And then I guess we're going to get our plant that's going to give us a permanent buff. And if we want more spots, of course, we saw a moment ago that they cost 400 gems if you want to open up new ones. So is this going to be... I am curious. Is this going to be stuff that's going to affect the battle between players playing against each other? In that case... Could you say that this is going to be pay to win? Because, look, say you have somebody here who's got a lot of gems, and they went and they bought them, and they just unlocked all of this, and they had lots of really great seeds in there. They have six seeds in there, and they're really boosting their military. I don't know what kind of boosts we're talking about long term, but, I mean, if somebody did that, then somebody with the same army but not the same garden would be at a disadvantage. It really depends. I mean, we see creature movement speed. Would that help in a battle? I don't know. Maybe. It might. It's, it depends on the way the, uh, the boosts are actually done. And apparently, I did a mission over here. Oh, probably the, uh, they probably added something for the, where is it here? Quests? For the new chamber, I'm guessing. Hold on a second. Is there something down here? There it is, the water storage chamber. All right. Five gems. And I dig one patch, and I get 20 of my honeydew back. Yippee for me. All right, so these are the rewards over here. Some creature parts. Dig 10 patches. Okay, get the water chamber. Wow, you get your water chamber up to four, and they, they give you 75 creature parts. Can you imagine how much honeydew that's going to be? That's going to be a lot of honeydew. Well, at least they have the, oh, what do we have here? Level up pet aphid one. Yeah, it looked like an aphid, didn't it? I'm wondering how you get them. Maybe if you have the flowers that they eventually show up. I don't really know. Anyway, what I think we're going to do right now is we're going to take a little break. 
while they're collecting water for me. And then we'll come back and see what our flower looks like in about a half an hour. And we're back. And I'm guessing that there's been some changes in our garden since more than a half an hour has passed. All right. I guess we have to water it again. Okay. More water. Oh, my goodness. Really? Really? Okay. How many times do I have to do that? Well, I guess we can do it one more time. We're just going to have to see about that. Okay. So I tell you what, we'll come back in another half an hour and see if we have to water it again. You know, in the meantime, I think I'm going to have to send these guys to get me some more water, ain't I? Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I took them back because there wasn't much of a reason for doing this. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to go like this and send 50. Yeah, right, yeah, right there. There you go. We'll just send 50. Okay, like I said, in a half an hour, we will um, we'll see what we have. Is it something that's grown? Is it a flower? Or is it an opportunity to give it more water? I guess we'll find out. And we're back again, and you can see that my workers are refilling the water. So let's go over to the garden and see if we have to do more watering. I think we have a flower. Harvest. Is that what I'm supposed to do at this point? Harvest it? Okay, I guess I'm going to harvest it. Obtain flower. I'm guessing that's in my inventory. Okay, so if I went back over here, plant, I need more honeydew for this. All right, well, let's just see what we have in terms of the flower. All right, let's just go over here. Out of the way. All right, let's check out the inventory. I have a six-hour flower. Increases soldier ants movement speed, 20% for six hours. So it's not a permanent boost, and I end up spending a bunch of honeydew in order to get that. Okay, well, you know, it's functionality, it's new functionality, and I'm guessing we can get pets along the way. I don't think, for me, that it's really worth it. The fact that we need honeydew for this means that it's very expensive, and it's kind of it's temporary and it's a 20 percent boost for six hours and how much did it actually cost me i i just for me i just don't think it's something that i am overly interested in i don't know how we end up getting pets that might be something interesting to look into but well we do know what we got now there might be some really good seeds but i mean 20 percent for six hours and i have to spend honeydew for that I just don't think that's an idea that I want to follow up on. See, the thing is, I still haven't bought a lot of things with uh, Honeydew over here. Um, this one here, if you notice, I could have increased my worker speed. Of course, now I can't because I'm underneath the amount. Uh, was this the soldier speed? Yeah. Oh, this is the resilience. Yeah, I didn't really see much of an interest in that. Was this the increase the movement speed by 10%? All right, well... You know, that's a permanent one. Now, I'm guessing that a lot of people will have these maxed out. I don't really have them maxed out. I never really liked the uh, method of collecting honeydew. So the honeydew that I have, I've gotten from events. So, I mean, a lot of people might have these maxed out and they want the extra way of getting boosts. I just don't like the six hour 20% thing for honeydew. That's just me, though. But anyway, we do have this new update here. We have this gardening thing going on. We have water. Now, in the water, it does actually say something else here. Hold it a second. Where was this? Uh, ants use water to moisten soil and weeds, helping plants grow. They also drink and transport it back to their colony. So I don't know what the drink thing is. I'm, they may have just put that in as a line for fluff or something like that. Yeah, again, this is going to be very expensive to uh, crank this up. This seems to be kind of a sink for honeydew. And like I said, I find the whole process of doing the convoy thing and coming back with like four honeydew because it gets virtually impossible to do that over time. 
just way too much trouble, which is the reason I never kind of did that. Anyway, but this is, if this is something that you like, it's in the game now. And um, yeah, it's right there. And I don't really know how we get pets. Maybe that's something that pops up in the future. Could be interesting. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.